Yeah, yeah, yeah. On me, yeah. No escaping from my mind, but low key. You know that you one of a. Wedding dresses, going all to different places, different planets. Watch your aura pass me by, losing balance. Nicole and I am back with another video and with my little nuggets. Today's video is going to be all for the moms out there who are trying to revamp, upgrade, change their wardrobe after having a baby. But it's also for my girls who are just curvy, mid-sized, need something to wear, and are just trying to figure out what to do for the rest of this fall slash winter, well, winter season. So, we are already in my first outfit. I will say that today's video, I'm gonna show you items that I purchased from Shein, and I'm also gonna show you how to style those items. So I'm in the first outfit with my son here. Um, I'm gonna pass him to his dad so I can tell you about the outfit that I'm in, and then we're gonna keep on going with this try-on haul. All right, so this outfit is a two-piece lounge outfit, I guess sweatsuit, maybe not a sweatsuit. It's kind of like a sweater material, but it has a hoodie in the back and then it's got this high split on each side kind of to accentuate your curves. Um, I just have a t-shirt on under it, but it probably be better with like something fitted like a tank or a bodysuit and then these pants. Um, I really, really love this item. I wish I would have bought it in like three other colors, but I didn't because I thought, oh, I'll just get one. But if you like this, Go ahead and get you like two or three because the material feels amazing. It's nice and soft and cozy, comfy, perfect for doctor's appointments, <laughs> grocery store runs, or just trying to go grab some food with a friend really, really quick. Um, I really, really like it. And I didn't mention it before, but everything that I am going to be talking about today will be listed below. I styled this with just some socks and some vans and called it a day. There's not much that you need to do with this because, hey, it's an outfit. It's already here, it's already together. All you need is some accessories and your shoes. So, um, this is outfit number one. All right, so we're gonna stick in the lounge slash casual wear category. I ordered this sweatshirt. Um, it's like this cool tip material. It's really, really thick. Um, I forgot to mention the sizes, so that jumpsuit I just had on, or two pieces I had on, was a uh, 08 sale. So everything I'm wearing is pretty much going to be from the Shein Curvy section or Curvy size, but I'm ordering it in 08 sale. So um, this sweatshirt is going to be 08 sale, and these pants I believe are 08 sale. They may be 1 XL, so I might have went up in bottoms in 1 XL just to be safe because y'all know Shein sizes are not the regular sizes so you gotta be careful with them but needless to say I like this sweatshirt it's comfy I feel like you can dress it up or dress it down I'm not a fan of this little patch right here but whatever it's just one small little area um, I like the feel the sleeves are kind of short on me as you can see but I mean, it's not horrible, so it makes it where you can just kind of pull it up and make it more of a casual look. The joggers, I really like the joggers. I like the material. It's more of like a, kind of like a windsuit material, but not probably a windsuit material's cousin. Let's call it that. Um, it's cargo style, so I have pockets on the side. If you are tall, this is the, they are not tall girl friendly because I am short and you can see where they're stopping on me at my ankle and that's just where they sit so if you are tall they're probably going to be at your calf but this is two pieces two more casual pieces that i have i'm going to come back and show you how i will make this into an outfit to go outside so this is how i chose to style this outfit or accessorize this outfit i should say i stole mitch's vest um from his closet because i mean why not was his is mine. That's how this works. Um, and then I just threw on a beanie with a bag. This is a Michael Kors bag. And then I used my Doc Martin boots. And here we go. This is the final look for this outfit. Of course, this doesn't have to be an outfit. I can wear the sweatshirt with something else. I can wear the joggers with something else. 
I'm just showing you or giving you some inspo if you choose to wear these items together. So what do y'all think? Yay or nay? This is for my casual girls. This is outside of my comfort zone, but it's become, becoming my new comfort zone because who got time to try to figure out a whole bunch of things to put on every day? We, sometimes you just need to be comfortable and this works. So we comfy cute in this fit. Let me know what y'all think about this one down in the comment y'all so we are in the next item which is very very comfortable but also out of my comfort zone i don't really wear a lot of like fitted bodycon or maxi dresses or whatever you want to call this little get up but this feels really really nice and soft and just comfortable in general um and especially with me being postpartum and not being as smooth and firm as well, I wasn't smooth and firm in the beginning, but I was smoother and firmer than I am now. This isn't your ideal item to be trying to pop into after having a baby, but I will say that it does shape you very, very well. So don't be afraid of it. And you can also cover up or hide or disguise, whatever it is you're trying to hide and disguise with this Sphinx, the undergarments, and layering, which we'll get to that once I style this item. But it is a dress, it'll be linked below, I don't remember the exact name of it, um, but it has this zipper detail that I really, really like. So you can make it where it's all the way up like a turtleneck or you can show some skin or if you want to show be va va boom and have them all out, you can zip it all the way down. Um, I really, like I said, I really, really like it. I got this. I do not believe this is a curvy item. I can't remember, but I do not believe it's a curvy item. So I think this may be um, women's, just women's regular in a large, or it might be in an extra large. Either way, it's large or extra large. But it fits really, really nicely. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna go style it and let y'all see how it looks. So I decided to keep it simple with this outfit. I just threw on another Shein item that I got, which is this lightweight jacket or jacket, um, plaid jacket that I got. I would actually personally prefer to wear something more cropped with this since it is a long item. The dress itself is long and to balance it out with having a long item, you kind of would like to have something short, especially if you're shorter so you're not drowned out by a lot of clothing, but I don't own anything kind of like crop that would go with this. So this also works. Um, and then I just paired it with these little platform boots that I got from Kato's. If y'all ain't never heard of Kato's, look them up. Um, but yeah, something simple, something casual. The dress, I forgot to mention, you could, it's something that you could dress up or dress down. I tried to find items that were multifaceted where I could do and create different outfits for different occasions and not have to sit here and worry about what am I going to wear and what am I going to be comfortable in when I decide to get dressed up. Um, I don't have on the correct undergarments for this dress, but once I do, I know that I'll be ready to go out and look cute. So, what y'all think about this look, both items. I really like the jacket. Like I said, it's lightweight, so don't order it thinking you're going to be warm. It is for visual purposes only. Yeah, just note that. But, what y'all think about this? Alright y'all, so we have officially left the casual category and we have entered the real reason why I needed some clothes. Because your girl is getting ready to go back to work. Maternity leave is ending and I started this job while I was pregnant. So the clothes that I had are not going to be clothes that are going to work for me when I return. So starting out with this sweatshirt um, with these fancy sleeves. This is not a plus size item. It was a uh, women's regular, but I got it in a size extra large, I believe. I will link everything down below with the correct size. And so if you want to use my size, my measurements to kind of help you. But back to the shirt, I really like it. It is uh, comfortable and I'm still trying to be comfortable when I return to work. I won't lose items because I also am going to be pumping, maybe when I return to work, so I don't want to have anything that I have to kind of function, fiddle with a lot to try to get my pump on and off. So this is 
a very great and comfortable shirt because you can dress it up and dress it down because what I tell y'all we're trying to be multifaceted multifunctional clothes that can go any and everywhere dress up dress down do what I need to do so I don't have to buy anything else right okay so I have this shirt paired with these pants they are pants but they fit more like leggings so if you're interested in these keep that in mind um, they're comfortable they're stretchy but if you want more of a pant style pant to wear to work or church or whatever this is not it but if you just need something nice business casual item that you can wear with a nice bigger shirt if you're self-conscious about showing your thighs or your booty then um, these are a great substitute I really like them I like how they feel I like the fit my job is kind of more lax when it comes to the clothing items that you you choose to wear so this works for me and I mean I don't feel like it's doing too much as far as being too tight like they're not squeezing me they're just hugging me a little bit and then these little flats also are from Shein I got these in a the size 8 they are kind of like a mauve kind of nude shoe so I like to play with colors and the color wheel and pair different colors with each other that I think will be complimentary. So I thought this was a nice compliment to this shirt. Black and white, you know, is neutral. The shoe is actually really neutral. So neutrals together and then a little pop of color being the shirt works out great. Um, it's really, really soft. It's softer than I actually expected it to be. Um, and then I like the little pom-pom on the toe accent. So they're very sturdy, than, st much sturdier than my little Walmart flats that I was wearing. I got these in a size 8, so my foot did grow. And I was very, I didn't really know what to do about ordering the flats because I kind of am still trying to figure out what size I really wear now since being pregnant. So the 8 fits good. Um, I probably could have had an 8 and a half, but the 8 is working for me right now it's comfortable um not too tight not squeezing my toe or anything and i know for me with flats this little area here has always been an issue where it can be too tight especially for the more narrow toe shoes but these feel great because it's really really soft so what do y'all think about this outfit all right y'all so we are back with a piece that you just saw like I said, I'm trying to show y'all how to style the items that you have and make the most of the things that you get because we're going to wear what we got in our closets, y'all. I mean, but hey, go shopping, but we're going to wear what we got in our closets. So I have on the same pants that you just saw me in with the business casual outfit. I am now making a more casual outfit to show you how these pants can be both. You can, you can dress them up or you can dress them down. So I have now paired paired them with this chunky cardigan um, sweater that I also got from Shein. Um, I love, 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 oh, I don't collect it. flowers. <laughs> I love, love, love how this sweater feels. Um, they're, it's thick, but it's breathable. So you're not gonna be too high. You can pair it, like I paired it with a short sleeve shirt. Um, you can pair it with a long sleeve shirt and probably still not be hot. Um, but you'll be warm enough where you probably won't need a coat or worry about a coat I wouldn't wear this on a day where it's like 30 degrees but on those days where it's 50 60 and this is all you want to do um, it'll be perfect for that it's very long on me so you can see it's down to my knees and just all sweater baby I really really love it I love the sleeves like I said I love the chunky chunky look the shirt um, is actually a maternity shirt that I ordered in the summer last year um, and I'm still making use of it. I pro would prefer to wear a white shirt, um, but I don't have a white shirt. So I paired it with the black and then just paired it with my bands that you saw me wear earlier with the two-piece. So this is this fit. Um, it's very comfortable. It'd be perfect for a day out and about in the town, me friends for brunch. Like I said, it can go anywhere. It can even go to work on your casual Fridays if you can wear sneakers on Fridays. We can, so I probably will be doing that myself. What y'all think about this one? You like it? A fan of it? You like how I'm mixing up pieces and reusing items to kind of show you how they work different ways? Let me know if you like this type of try-on haul down in the comments. Alright y'all, so we are still sticking in the business casual category. So I am in this mock neck, turtleneck, 
uh, sweater get up. I don't really know what it's called, but I'm loving it. I love how it has this split detail here at the hip to accentuate it and give you a little bit of shape. I also have this split detail here at the wrist that I didn't even know I had until I just put it on. So I'm loving how it's giving dressy, but also taking me out to dinner. Like, what are we doing? What are we really doing with this shirt? Um, and then I just paired it with some simple slacks. They're also from Shein. I just tried to rack up on some bottoms so I can have a, a few that I can switch through to be able to wear to work. Um, and then the shoes I'm pairing with are also from Shein because, again, I had to get new shoes because my feet have also grown. Can we talk about the things that women go through after they have a baby? So, yes, these flats I'm loving. Um, they have this toe tie detail at the toe, um, and they feel like very quality, like good sturdy flats. You know, sometimes we have flats that just feel like they aren't going to last a long time. These, I feel like, will last me for a good while. Um, my pants, if you want to use me height as reference, I am about 5'3"-ish, maybe 5'2 and a half, somewhere in that range. So the pants are high-waisted. I didn't show you all that. Um, and you can see that they are still fairly, fairly long on me, so I probably am going to have to get them taken up so I can be able to wear them without worrying about tearing up the bottoms of the pants from them dragging on the ground. Short girl problems. But yes, um, the pants, I believe I have either 12 or 14, and then the top is going to be a 12. This is in the curvy section. What do y'all think? All right, y'all, so I'm back in the same Montbeck sweater that you just saw me in, but now I have made it into more of a casual look because remember how I said that it's giving business casual slash take me out on a date so this is kind of a date night look um you can pair it with heels um but I just threw on these boots again for convenience but also just to give you kind of a mid-scale look so we not upscale we mid-scale with this on I just paired it with these leather pants that are also they're more so a legging also from Kato's and I have it on with the same platform boots that y'all saw me in earlier. And this is like the, the comfy, cute look like, oh, we're going to go get dinner, go out on a date, do something fun, catch a movie. And I want to look nice, but I don't want to do too much type of look. It's just giving just enough. But like I said, you can pair this with some heels, some booties, um, open toe if you want to go all out, pump, whatever floats your boat. This is just how I paired it. So, what y'all think about this? Some something simple. All right, y'all. So we're back with another work fit. So, um, this top you can see there's a theme going on here. I am enjoying the mock necks and the sleeve theme. I think I've already told y'all I like a little sleeve. Like the shirt gotta be something for me. She can't just be a shirt. She gotta give a little bit more. Like, she got to be a shirt tag. So, um, this uh, mock neck sleeve shirt, mock neck sleeve, this mock neck shirt um, is navy blue, so it's like polka dots. And I try to keep, like, a lot of the pieces you see are kind of like neutral colors. Um, I'm trying to stick with a thing where I can, like I keep saying, wear them multiple ways with different items. Because in the past, I had a history of just picking out colorful things, a lot of printed things. And then not being able to make use of them when I needed a certain item or a certain outfit. They kind of were like one use clothing item. So I'm trying to stick to things that I can get a lot of wear out of. So I also mentioned that I like to wear colors that complement each other. So we know that navy blue and burnt orange or rust kind of go, or blue and orange kind of go together in general. So I have this navy blue polka dot shirt paired with these pinstripe rust colored or brown kind of rust colored pants uh these i got in a size 14 i wish i or one xl i wish i would have gotten the xl or the 12 because they're kind of a very very straight leg kind of baggy not baggy style but loose fitted slack and um because of that it kind of just goes straight down 
on me and it's looser than I would like but I'm gonna make do with it because I mean it is comfortable um and all of the pants like even though I have this button right here is still just elastic in the back and I'm just pulling it on and then I paired it with the same cream flats that I just showed y'all a while ago um because you need something neutral that's going to tie these colors together you don't want anything that's going to contrast or you don't really want to introduce another color to this palette because we already got enough going on but i really, really like this outfit as soon as i saw the items i was like oh this is going to go great together and yeah i'm really feeling it's comfortable the slacks are really really nice material like sturdy like actual like slack material not that fake flimsy stuff or spandexy stuff like this is a legit pant um, so yeah, what y'all think about this one? Okay y'all, so we are in another business casual outfit featuring another cardigan slash sweater. So this one is giving sleeves, but it's a little OD because where my hands go? That's probably going to annoy me, but I also like it at the same time. So I'm a little conflicted on how I really feel about it. I like the fit of it. Otherwise, the sleeves are just, I wasn't expecting them to be so you know, sleevey. But, either way, we move forward. Um, I really, really like it because I can wear it as is as a sweater. I don't even have anything on underneath it. Um, or I can unbutton it to wear it as a cardigan. So it's an item that I can wear two different ways. So y'all know I like that. And then I just paired it with these slacks, also from Shein. Um, also in a size 14. Um, I think either way they are also a loose fit so the pants with the slacks with the curvy um, chin section I feel all have kind of a looser fit so you may want to really really measure yourself get your measurements before you order um, or just flip a coin and hope for the best I went with what my what I thought would work for me and like I said they are looser than I would like. Like I would like a little shape to it, but I still think they'll be fine. Then you know clothes shrink once you wash them anyway. So I probably did right by ordering the size that I did. And then I just paired it with these mauve nudish pinkish kind of flats that y'all saw earlier. You can also pair it with some black flats or some cream flats. You can't go wrong with this outfit because you already have a color with the green, but we're still on the neutral scale, so you can kind of do whatever you want with this outfit. Um, I really, really like it, and I like these colors together. The sleeves, like I said, be sleeping though. Alright y'all, so I am back with a date night outfit, so not so much business casual. Um, we'll start with this shirt uh, ignore my bra i don't have on the right bra for the shirt but i got this also out of the curvy section it's kind of this asymmetrical shirt it's supposed to be kind of like the cow neck um it's supposed to be like the cow neck uh type fall like it's supposed to fall loosely up here which i guess is kind of given that um and then it has the cinch sides here but mine are tucked into these pants so you can't see it uh i really like this shirt um my only thing that I don't or i wasn't expecting was it to be actual like a t-shirt material although it was under the teaser t-shirt section it didn't look like a t-shirt on the model but i mean they said t it was under the t-shirt section so i should have expected that but other than that i do like it i like the color um it's neutral and then I paired it with these cargo pants. They they have a lot going on. They're interesting. Definitely something different for me. Um, but yeah, so let's talk about them. So I should have ordered a size down like anything else I said, but I'll make them work. I got these in a 14 or a 1XL based off of Shein sizes. They have this slit here at the knee. Um, and then you see all of these strings. So the strings, from my understanding, will draw the pants or cinch them as such. So I mean, that's cute and it makes it hug your thigh more. So you have one here at the thigh and then one here 
at the leg so it can draw up the pant to make it shorter and then you just tie it or you can let the strings hang if that's what you want to do. So there's different ways that you can kind of finesse this to be the style that you want it to be. I kind of definitely like the cinch thigh to give you more of a shape. I probably wouldn't mess with my calf as much unless I felt like they were too long if I decided to wear these with sneakers or flat boots instead of wearing them with an actual heel, which is what I have paired them with in this outfit. Um, so yeah, this is going to be the end of the try on haul. I try to give y'all a variety of items uh, to give you kind of some inspo for ways that you can style your postpartum body and still kind of, well not kind of, still be cute and be a mom um, and enjoy life. I didn't want to go back to work with the clothes that I had. I mean, I couldn't because I couldn't wear them anymore. So I was able to find several pieces at Shein that I could use to either dress up or dress down to get me through the rest of the season and take me into the summer as far as the pants go. Definitely not the long sleeves, but I hope y'all enjoyed it. I hope that you were inspired. You found some items that you like and that you're going to add to your shopping cart. And if you want more videos like this or some more outfit inspiration for mid-size slash curvy size bodies, go ahead and comment down below and I will chill. I'll work on it for you. These try on hauls, they, they be having me hot and tired in and out of clothes. But I'll try to get y'all another one if that's something that y'all are looking forward to seeing again. Um, thank you for watching and go ahead and hit that like button if you haven't already and definitely hit that subscribe button if you are not subscribed to your girl's channel and stay tuned for more. I'll see y'all on the next one. Bye.